Good day, Grade 8. Today we are going to learn about common communicable diseases. At the end of this lesson, you must be able to identify the most common communicable diseases. Next, determine the signs, symptoms, or effects of common communicable diseases. Next, Analyze misconceptions, myths, and beliefs about common communicable diseases and observe helpful practices in order to prevent and control communicable diseases. Let us begin with the pretest. Direction, choose the letter of the best answer, write your answer on your notebook. Number 1. It is a disease that can be passed to a person from another person, animal, or object. A. Virus B. Pathogens C. Non-communicable disease D. Communicable disease The correct answer is D. Communicable disease Number 2 Pathogens like to attack humans because they seek of the following A. Shelter B. Food source C. Place to multiply D. All of the above The correct answer is Letter D. All of the above Number 3 Washing your blank is the most effective strategy for preventing the spread of disease. A. Face B. Feet C. Hands D. Neck The correct answer is letter C. Hands Number 4. Which are not the symptoms of disease? A. Rashes B. Headache C. Vomiting D. Dizziness The correct answer is letter A. Rashes Number 5. Ways to limit exposure to communicable disease A. Washing your hands B. Eating a balanced diet and participating in physical activity C. Learn stress management techniques D. All of the above The correct answer is letter D. All of the above Let's do the recap Direction Arrange the following stages of infection in order by writing the numbers from 1 to 5 the first sentence, convalescent stage, the patient generally returns to normal functions. Next, period of illness, during which the signs and symptoms of disease are most obvious and severe. Next, period of decline, the number of pathogen particles begins to decrease. Next, incubation stage. The initial entry of the pathogen into the host or patient. Last, prodromal stage. The pathogen continues to multiply and the host begins to experience general signs and symptoms of illness. Okay, do we have the same answer? Let's check it. The first one, number 5, 3, 4, 1, and 2. Very good. Let us proceed with our lesson. What do we mean by health? Health is defined as a complete state of physical, mental, social welfare and being free from illness or disease. Disease refers to an illness of people, animals, or plants caused by infection or a failure of health. Diseases may be classified as communicable or non-communicable. 
Do you know that communicable diseases are also called infectious diseases? It refers to diseases that can be transmitted from one organism to another and make people ill. Infective agents, they are called pathogens. Those are viruses, bacteria, fungi, and parasites. Here are the most common communicable diseases. The mode of their transmission is through direct contact, like the head lice infestation or nits. You may experience itchy scalp, especially behind the ears. The next one is conjunctivitis. It begins with tearing, irritation, and redness of eyes. Sometimes there is a discharge. Another direct transmission are the hand, foot, and mouth disease. You may have fever, flu-like symptoms, rash on soles and palms, and in the mouth. The next one is mumps. You may feel the pain in jaw, then swelling in front of ear, and fever. Scabies or itch mite. You may have scabies through direct contact with an infected person. It has an itching intense mostly at night. Complications may get infected from scratching. The next is chicken pox. The mode of transmission of chicken pox is airborne through sneezing and coughing. You may have fever and spots with a blister on top of each spot. Another airborne transmission is measles. You may have runny nose and eyes, cough and fever, followed a few days of later by a rash. The next is common cold. The mode of transmission is droplet. It usually begins with a sore throat, often without fever. Another droplet transmission is influenza or flu. You may experience tiredness, malaise, nasal discharge, dry cough, mild sore throat. The other one is tuberculosis, most commonly through airborne transmission. You may also experience chills, fever, fatigue, productive or non-productive chronic cough, weight loss, night sweats. Coronavirus or COVID-19 transmitted through droplet, contact, and object. When one individual talks, sneezes, or coughs, if you have this, you may experience fever, dry cough, and tiredness, loss of taste or smell, especially difficulty in breathing. The next is hepatitis. It transmitted through contaminated food or water. You may experience weakness, joint pain, anorexia, jaundice, dark urine, clay-colored stools. Cholera transmitted through contaminated water or undercooked food. You may have watery diarrhea, vomiting, extreme loss of fluid, electrolytes, and severe dehydration. The last are dengue, malaria, or Japanese encephalitis. You may have sudden high fever, severe headaches, severe joint and muscle pain, skin rash, which appears 2 to 5 days after the onset of fever. Class, how can we prevent and control common communicable diseases? We have to follow these tips to decrease the risk of disease and infection. It is very important to wash your hands before and after preparing food, before eating, and after using the toilet. Adopt proper isolation if you are sick. Vaccination can reduce your chances of contracting many diseases. Make sure to keep up to date on your recommended vaccinations. Don't go to school if you are vomiting, have diarrhea, or have a fever. Cover your mouth and nose when sneezing or coughing. Maintain good indoor ventilation. Clean and disinfect properly the surroundings. 
You have to maintain also environmental hygiene to prevent breeding of mosquitoes or insects. Take personal protection to prevent mosquito or insect bites. Keep counters and other kitchen surfaces clean when preparing meals. Ensure all foods are adequately cooked. Use your own clothes, towel, toothbrush, and other personal items. Avoid sharing drinking glasses or dining utensils. Travel wisely. Seek medical advice immediately if unwell. Let's see if you understand our lesson. Write how common communicable diseases are transmitted to others. Is it by contact, food or waterborne, vectorborne, droplets, or airborne transmission? Number 1. Tuberculosis 2. Scabies 3. Influenza 4. Hepatitis 5. Dengue Now, let's check if we have the same answer. For number 1, the answer is Airborne transmission Number 2 True contact or direct contact Number 3 Droplets 4 Food or waterborne And 5 Vectorborne Very good, class! You have to remember that living well starts with individuals and families. Now that you read and understand the common communicable diseases, how can we say prevention is better than cure? Before we end the lesson, let's answer the post-test. Direction, choose the letter of the best answer, write your answer on your notebook. Number 1. Which of the following is not a communicable disease? A. Malaria B. Conjunctivitis C. Osteoporosis D. HIV The correct answer is letter C. Osteoporosis Number 2 Ticks are examples of organisms that can spread disease. These types of organisms are referred to as A. Vectors B. Fungi C. Pathogens D. Bacteria The correct answer is A. Vectors Number 3. Poor blank methods can lead contaminated food and water. A. Immunization B. Sanitation C. Disinfection D. Purification The correct answer is letter B. Sanitation Number 4. Which of the following can make you ill if you come in contact with an infected person? A. High blood pressure B. Genetic abnormalities C. Blood cancer D. Sneezing The correct answer is letter D. Sneezing Number 5. A disease widely spread worldwide is known as A. Endemic B. Epidemic C. Pandemic D. Sporadic The correct answer is letter C. Pandemic